Hello and welcome back to the Rare Renaissance channel. I am Marc Levon and since our upcoming concert is on Reformation Day, this month it's all about music of the Swiss Reformation around the Genevan Psalter, aka the Huguenot Psalter. We'll hear some big names such as the reformers Luther and Calvin themselves both had a knack for music and dabbled in writing their own tunes, as well as some famous composers who brought this work to the next level, such as Swelling and Le Jeune. But what's this all about? The Catholic Mass of the 16th century was still exclusively sung in Latin. It was the reformers who wanted to make this more approachable to the average churchgoer. Calvin in particular promoted the idea that the public should sing the psalms in their native tongue. To do this, you needed professionals who could translate them nicely and mold them into forms which could easily be sung, like the stroves of a song. So, with a little help from the poet Clément Marot, this confident-looking chap, Calvin published a first selection of French psalms. By 1562, and with Théodore de Bèze picking off where Marot had left off, all 150 psalms were available in print. These publications triggered a flood of polyphonic song compositions, and while some were artfully polyphonic, others, such as the four voice settings by the organist Samuel Maréchal, were designed for a humbler target audience. Thus, they were easily accessible also for lay singers, such as students. Maréchal had his settings printed here in Basel in 1606, and a copy of his book still resides in the university library. The title page is depicted on our current flyer. I have here with me the singer and director Jean-Christophe Groff, who is in charge of our next Re-Renaissance concert. And uh, Jean-Christophe, can you tell us a bit about putting together this program? Chantez gaiement, sing cheerfully. These are the few first words of the Psalm number 81 in the translation of Théodore de Bèze. And this sounds like an invitation. That's the title of our Re-Renaissance concert of October. We'd like to invite the audience to participate and to sing with us, to sing maybe, hopefully, cheerfully. We'll perform six different psalms in different settings, and we'd like that the audience can feel the music from inside too, not only by listening. You're bringing the audience into the concert program, but I think uh, you also have a choir that uh, is going to have a workshop with you. This sounds complicated. So this is a program with many moving parts. How did you organize this? We've invited some interested people to sing with us and they will perform four different uh, polyphonic versions of four psalms. So is this a purely vocal program? So prima le parole, of course, with uh, such a topic psalm, the voice is in the middle of the program. The singers has to be in the middle of the program. But we're working with an instrument and with a fantastic player. Olivier Virvas will play a copy of an organ that you can see at the Musikinstrumenten Museum in Basel. It's a small organ with a very special uh, reed register, a lovely one. Okay, it sounds loud. It sounds very loud. That's why we are also very happy to have the choir and the audience to sing with us. Super, we love loud. So is this a purely French program? That's right, Clément Marot, Théodore de Bèze. We have French poets and French texts, and mainly French composer Claude Goudimel, Claude Lejeune, Pascal de Lestocard. But also, these texts uh, has interested a few other composers like uh, Svelinck. And here in Basel, we have something very special. Um, Samuel Maréchal was a, a musician and organist who used to live in Basel. Uh, at the 16th century, and he uh, harmonized all the 150 psalms on the German text, on the version by Ambrosius Lobwasser. So, French poets, French composer, but also Dutch composer and Swiss composers. Do you have a special treat for us? Yes, we have a very special surprise for this program. You know, the word psalm, psalmos, comes from the Greek psalmos, and even from the Hebrew, mismo. 
So we have a originally Hebrew, Greek, here French and even German. But in the 17th century, a scholar in Basel decided to translate the French version into Hebrew. So that's how we, we are closing the loop. Jean-Christophe granted us a sneak preview of one of the first rehearsals for this program here in our home venue at the house zum Hohen Dolder. Let's have a look. Some translations became all the rage in 16th century Europe, even in Catholic lands. And next year, we'll visit another such case in Poland. There, at the end of the 16th century, Mikołaj Gomułka set the Polish Psalter of Jan Kochanowski to music. But for now, I'm looking forward to Sunday, the 31st of October, this time with only one performance at 6.15 p.m. CET, so one hour later than usual, but at our usual venue in the Historic Museum Basel, Barfüßerkirche. There won't be a live stream, but we'll record the performance for later viewing. If you want more information on the program and the performers, check out our Re-Renaissance homepage. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hope to see you there.